Hello everyone, this is the IFC Architect and today we're going to be doing the step-by-step -step Blender BIM beginner tutorial, uh, the step-by-step -step project in Blender BIM. This is going to be part four, dealing with uh, detailing. If you missed the previous parts, they are available on the channel and the next part will be layout, which will be posted immediately if you want to skip to that. All right. To install Blender BIM or Blender, check the installation videos in the description. Please update your Blender BIM to the latest build I am using found on my channel about page. My layout very simply has the properties on the right hand side and the outliner on the left hand side. Please make sure that you've got your snaps enabled which just allow you to easily uh, model things and move them around and make sure that your move gizmo, this little object here, is uh, selected. Control Z, Control Z. You can follow what I'm doing with screencast keys in the bottom left. Okay cool, let's get started. Okay, let's get on to the detail. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our My Story plan and we're going to zoom in here and I want to make a roof edge detail basically. So I'm going to snap my 3D cursor to the uh, wall here and you can just see what I'm doing on the left hand side. And we're going to add a section and it's going to be east facing just like that other one. And we're just going to say add and you can see it's added a section called east section X. I'm just going to rename this to detail one and then we're going to activate that view. And you can see it's been activated and it's quite large and we know the drill. We're just going to select the camera here. I'm going to go to the object data properties here, the little green camera. I'm going to make the orthographic scale 1 and I'm going to make the drawing scale uh, 1 in 10. Okay, cool. So there we have a tiny little view and I want it to be up here. So I'm just going to temporarily disable my snaps so I can just bring it up. I'm just going to make sure my camera is selected. I'm going to say with GZ. And then I'm going to say GY so I can center that line on the... On the camera <clears throat> okay cool I think that is okay cool I'm gonna turn my snaps back on always remember to do that and then we're just gonna check what this looks like in the uh, printed version so I'm just gonna activate the drawing again and I'm just gonna say create drawing with the button here and you can see it's looking okay I mean the, vis the physical elements are there but we're gonna have to add a few more things like the one thing I want to add is battens for our roof so I'm going to go back to Blender <clears throat> and then I'm just going to snap my 3D cursor to the edge here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to the tool and I'm going to go to the BIM tool. And then I'm going to come here to this uh, waffle grid at the top. It's the launch type manager. I'm going to click on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select beam and I'm going to select extruded profile. And we're going to make our own custom beam. I'm going to press plus and you can see it's added it as type X. And I'm just going to add the beam there. So you see it's been added. I'm just going to make sure it's in the building story. Remember to always have it in the correct story. And I'm going to go to types because I want to rename it from type X to uh, batten 50. Okay, cool. Um, and then we're just going to select the beam. And what we're going to do is we're going to come here to object properties. I'm just going to collapse uh, everything. We're going to go to <laughs> IFC object metadata. We're going to come down to IFC object material. I'm going to say edit, enable editing assigned material. And we're going to come down to this little eye drop. Uh, this little eye profile, enable editing material setting, set item. And then I'm going to change the X and Y dim to 50 by 50. And then we're going to say save changes and we're going to click here again. It's basically save changes. And then you can see it's adjusted the size of our uh, beam, our little baton. So now we're going to go down to modifier properties and we're going to say in the IFC array, we're going to press the plus icon and I'm going to edit this and I want to have three or four of these and I want them to be in the Y direction over here, and I want them to be 300 millimeters apart. So I'm just gonna click plus, and you can see it's been added. I did only need three, but that's okay. I'm gonna go to our selection box, and I'm just gonna press G, and I'm gonna snap it to the edge there, and then I'm gonna write I'm going to rotate it in the X direction by five degrees to match the roof, and then I'm gonna snap it to the edge there. And then we're gonna take our roof here, and we're going to adjust our roof so it's sitting on top of the baton. So we can say GZ to bring it up and then GZ to bring it directly onto the baton. And then what we're going to do is we want to edit the roof so it overhangs. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create an overhang for the roof. So I'm going to press 7 on my numpad so I can see it from above. And I'm just going to say Shift E with the bun tool selected. I'm going to make sure I press 2 so I can select the edge here. I'm going to say GY minus 50 so it has a bit of an overhang. I'm going to press A and then I'm going to say Shift Q. 
and then it saved it over there. So we can press naught to snap back to the camera view and you can see we have a bit of, a, of an overhang. Cool. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a fascia board, which is gonna be a similar situation. I'm gonna add a beam and I'm gonna do another beam, which is an extruded profile. I'm gonna just click plus and then you can see it's been added as type X. So I'm gonna say add beam and then I'm just gonna say G to bring it up here. And then in our types again, you can see it says type X and I'm just gonna call it uh, fascia. 20 by 300. I'm going to select it. We're going to go to the same place and we're going to go to the IFC object properties, object metadata. We're going to go to the material. I'm going to click here. I'm going to click here. We're going to make it 20 by 300. And then we say save changes and save. And you can see it's been saved. I'm going to say G to snap it there. I'm going to say rotate X five degrees to match the angle. Say G and it's been snapped over there. Okay, um, and then please just remember that you need to get all of your um, objects, including your beams, into your building story. So that's properly allocated. I'm just gonna collapse that again. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to add a ceiling here, which is going to be found in tool, and we go back to BIM tool, and we're going to make sure we have the uh, IFC slab type selected. We're going to open this waffle grid again, and we're going to make it a, a roof and a horizontal layers. So we're going to say plus, and you can see it says type X. So we're just going to go back there, and we're going to say add roof at that position. You can see it's been added. Make sure again that it's in the proper story. Then we're going to go to types, and where it says type X here with the IFC slab, I'm just going to rename this to uh, ceiling 20. And then I'm going to select this and then I'm going to say seven on my number pad, which is going to give us a top down view. And I'm going to uh, adjust this so that it snaps to the um, inside of the room over there. And what we're going to do is I'm going to say shift E to edit the profile. And I'm going to say uh, align profile to view. And I'm going to say two and I'm going to grab these edges and I'm going to bring them out and then select everything. And I'm just gonna say save profile and you can see it's been saved. So I'm gonna press naught and you can see it's just at the wrong height. So I just want it to be just underneath the beam. So I'm gonna press GZ and I'm gonna snap it to the underside of the beam there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here to object properties and we're gonna collapse everything. I'm gonna say object metadata. We wanna go to IFC object material. We're gonna go click edit that. And we're gonna come down here and say enable editing material sets. And the thickness, like I said, we want it to be 20. So we're going to say save changes and we're going to say save changes. And there you go. We have all our physical elements here. So I'm going to go back to BIM documentation. Um, I'm going to say activate. I'm going to say create. And you can see we've added it. So the issue is that this doesn't seem to have a material and I don't think these are being cut. So I'm just going to go back to my 3D view. And uh, yeah, you can see that it's adjusted. I'm just going to go here. Okay, and then with our BIM tool selected, we can extend these so that they actually cover the correct space. <laughs> uh, each of these items so that they're being cut. And then if we press not and we say create drawing, you can see all of these items don't have a material. So we're gonna go back to BIM uh, Blender and we're gonna select these. And I think we're gonna go here back to uh, object properties, IFC object metadata, and then the IFC object material. And we're gonna say enable editing with assigned material. And then here where it says layer set name, you know this, we just wanna assign one of the default materials, which I'm just gonna put on the screen now. Um, so the one I want to choose for the ceiling is going to be sand. And then I, the one I want for the um, for the fascia is also sand. And then the one I want for the battens is just going to be blank. And then if we press activate and we say create drawing again, everything has a nice material. Okay, cool. If we go on to the um, insulation, uh, we're just gonna add a line um, if we're in edit mode, I'm going to press one so we can see the vertices and press G and just bring it out a little bit. And basically how the line, uh, the insulation works is that it needs to be 
uh, 40 millimeters apart for the material, and then it's 50 mils from the from the bottom, basically, is the center. So I'm just going to say XV to get rid of that one, and I'm going to say EY40, and then I'm just going to repeat that. EY40, 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 until I think there's enough, because we want the insulation to sit above the above the ceiling board here. So I'm just going to select all, oh, I'm just going to select them by clicking here in the select box. And we're just going to press G and snap it here. And then I'm going to say GY and bring it to the end. And you can see we're just one short. So I'm just select this last one, EY40. And then I'm going to press A to select them all. I'm going to say GZ50. So that is, that's centered. And then I'm going to come here to the object properties. And instead of material, object material set, we're going to go to the attributes. Here where it says object type. We're going to change the line work and I'm going to put up the list of default line works available here that are done that are with blender bin and the one I'm going to choose is batting which is insulation I'm going to say save attributes and then we're just going to say activate and we say print drawing and you can see we've added some insulation into our roof there okay cool so we're going to go back to blender and what we're going to do next is we're going to do dimensions so I'm going to press the dimension tool and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say rotate Z uh, minus 90. Uh, sorry, not Z, <laughs> rotate X minus 90. Oh, maybe it's plus 90. And I'll snap it here. And I'm going to select this one and I'm going to snap it to the end there. So we have dimensioned our wall. I'm going to say uh, shift D. And I'm just going to snap this to that edge and this to that edge so we have 30 centimeters and then i'm just going to say e to get there and then i'm just going to grab that and say shift d so i can snap it there and there so i'm just going to make sure i'm going to press g x so it's in the same line and we can see it's roughly 25 mils I'm going to say GX so that they're both in the same line. Oh, it's 20. Okay. And then I'm press E and we're going to extend it there. And I'm say GX again to that one. And we can see it's supposed to be five. And then I'm just going to select all of the, or all of these guys over here. And I'm just going to say GY uh, minus 150 and then GZ. And we're just going to line it up with that one minus 20. And then we're going to add a leader line. So I'm going to press the leader line and I'm just going to move this up here and I'm going to move that there. And I'm just going to do a single annotation as an example, which is going to include all of the, um, all of the detail in the annotation. So I'm just going to say um, minus 50 and then we're going to come down here to enable editing text. And I'm going to put this in the description. Um, but I'm just going to copy a text over from uh, what I've written on the side. So just give me one second. Let's see. So it's just going to be a full annotation, a single annotation, but you can, you know, how this works. So you can just put it anywhere else. So I've pasted it in there. Um, 50 millimeter, millimeter roof sheeting and then backslash N, which you know is to create a new line. Fix the timber battens, backslash N, at 300 center to center, installed, backslash N, per manufacturer's instructions on steel C channels at 1 200 center to center at a 5 degree slope per engineer's spec. So we're just going to click edit text. You see it's been added there. It's a huge line. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're going to activate and we're going to say print. And there we have uh, quite a nice detail. The one thing is we need to close up this gap here. For both of those things, we're going to use a fill region. So I'm going to say fill area, sorry, fill area. And you can see it's been added here. And the first one I'm going to do is our um, little, well, we call it brick fill, but I'm going to use sealant here. I'm going to snap it there and I'm just going to say GZ and, and snap it to the edge there. And then I'm going to take these guys and I'm going to say GZ. And then I'm going to take these guys and I'm going to say GY, bring it to the end there. And then I'm just going to say GZ and it will snap fairly nicely to the end there. And then I think this isn't quite right. So GZ, there we go. Okay, cool. And then what you're going to do here is you're going to go object metadata attributes. And then the same thing with the line type, you're going to relabel the object type. So this I want to be sealant, which is going to be all caps. Again, I'll put a list now. 
of all the um, default ones that are shipped with Blender that you don't have to find. And you can make custom ones, but that will be in two videos time, basically. So we're gonna say save, and then we're going to say um, activate, and we're gonna say print, and you can see it's added a full area there that just bridges that gap. Okay, uh, so there's your detail. Um, the next video, which is going to be immediately posted, is going to be the layout. I just wanted to get the detail out so it could be included in the layout video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you found that interesting or useful, you can check out more at the OSARC community page. This was made using Blender, the Blender BIM add-on, which is powered by the IFC OpenShell, and the community that we're involved in is the OSARC community. I will provide links in the description, and you can check other videos to follow along. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.